All right, let's power up. Okay, so I'm having conversations with top producers. I'm talking to newbies and we're coaching and we're training and we're talking about the power of conversations, your ability to be able to maneuver through conversations and people get caught up on the scripts. The scripts aren't me, Paul. They just don't sound like me. I don't feel those words. And so look, the scripts are just good uh, foundational pieces for you to be able to uh, maneuver through conversations and have the strategy and the mindset to be able to engage conflict and maneuver empathetically with compassion through conversations, but yet with directions to be able to close for the appointment, to be able to get the contract signed. And hey, look, if you're caught up on the scripts, I came up with a uh, crazy uh, two foot by two foot scenario here on how to conceptualize and put into your brain and uh, allow the most powerful computer in the wor world and the uh, tool that can come up with the best scripts, the best responses, the best dialogue, my beautiful brain, right, to be able to maneuver through conversations. So here's, all, I'm gonna give you a roadmap on how to maneuver through conversations while using this uh, general concept in this roadmap. So look, we know that uh, great conversations are rooted in situation and motivation. Now, hey, I know this is sloppy. I was using this with a top producer in a coaching session the other day, but bear with me. I didn't want to erase it because this is going to work, okay? So great conversations are rooted in situation and motivation. What's going on and why is this important? Okay, so look, um, th that situation and motivation are dug in on by the Q&A. The Q&A is a questions analysis. The who, what, when, where, how, why of a situation or a motivation. Okay, now pause. Who, what, when, where, how, why on situation and motivation. How are you digging in on what's going on with their situation and motivation? Now look, you may not know about what's going on with their life or understand it, but when you're in the question and you, uh, you sincerely and genuinely want to help these people, your brain, if you stop and pause and just think for a second versus just getting nervous about what to say next and you're listening carefully on the who, what, when, where, how, why, of their situation and motivation. This alone will create an awesome conversation, excellent dialogue, and they'll feel your compassion and your authenticity to be able to listen carefully because you're asking great questions. Okay, now when you get in on what's happening with their motivation and you need to dig a little bit more, because too often I'm hearing agents, even top producers, just not digging in on a deep enough. Okay, so those two questions twice around, maybe even three times around to really dig in deep on motivation, their big why. You need to know this so you can leverage that at a higher level. I'm using that a lot with people that I'm coaching when I'm trying to discover their why and say, well, well what would that do for you? And um, why would that be important? And because they're so centered in on that thought process, they're not really paying attention and catching on to the fact that you've asked that question a couple times now. And if you've done it sincerely and authentically, it feels right, it feels good. You might even bring some people to tears because they've never yet really discovered and thought and centered in on their big why. Now, when we're talking for the sales process, this is just digging a little bit deeper to understand. Amazing tool that I got from Coaching Skills Camp. Thank you, Maps Coaching. Okay, so you, you, you dug it in, you found the why, and you see what's going on. Now it's time to leverage. Okay, so that leverage is asking great think or feel questions for those D's and C's. Those are logic-based questions. For those I's and S's, DISC uh, personality types, Google it. Okay, for those D's and C's, I'm using logic. And for those I and S personality types, I'm using feel questions, which are emotionally based. And I'm tying them to a risk or a reward. Now, this is important. You've traveled the route of digging in on situation and motivation, asking great questions. You've dug in on what's happening with motivation. And now it's time to leverage to get them to set the appointment, to get them to sign the contract. So you ask a logic-based question tied to a risk. Well, what are your thoughts around uh, waiting too much longer and uh, missing out on the uh, buying season? Um, how do you feel about a second opinion that could actually net you more money than you uh, than, the, than the current option you have? Um, so think, feel questions, but tied to a risk or reward because too often people are asking good questions, but they're just not tying together the risk or the reward, the consequences or the opportunities to be able to make sense of the question. 
Because remember, they're, they're on this, they're having this conversation in their head too about what they think about you, what they think about the process. And so they're nervous, they're apprehensive, they're scared. They want to slow down the sales process. And so for you to be able to ask a great question rooted in what they think or what they feel, tied to a risk or reward. Practice this, this works like magic. And a lot of you who attend Power Hour know that, hey, you wanna step up your game, you wanna go to the next level, you're in the Austin, uh, the, the Austin market, hit me up because we have lots of free coaching and consultations on how you can do that for your business. Those are always my favorite conversations. Hit me up, talk to you guys soon.